Supernatural, the show continuing to prove that it takes a lot to actually die in it. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 7 of Supernatural, season 13. We now know what the big bad is, at least somewhat. I don't know about the underground things, I have a feeling those weird creatures that Texas guy were trying to bring back, but what really is going on is that Michael in the alternate universe is going to come and destroy Earth. At least he, that's his that's what he noted to. We had an interesting cameo in this episode as well. Kevin Tran reappeared in Terrible Universe. Mind you, Mary wasn't there because uh, continuing to prove how useless her character's return was in season 12. But either way, he is this weird... Uh, he's just his normal self, except all he's got to do is serve Michael now, who is an extreme oppressor. They figure out how to open up the door back to the real world but Lucifer sneaks through. However, his grace was used, some of his grace was used to open this door, and so he's... It's basically cast from episode season 9? Season 10? Which was the one where he lost his grace. I don't know, his whole powers were really... It's not really locked down. But now he's basically a human with no powers except to change his red eyes. That was a really funny scene when he found that out, however. These witches were being tortured and one of them sought out uh, Sam and Dean. And it turns out that fucking Catch is still alive. Yeah, because we totally wanted more British Men of Letters bullshit after season 12. He goes with this whole this story about being, I don't know, being his twin brother, but they don't even, you can't buy it. It's such bullshit. And eventually they just say that it is. I'm not spoiling anything. It's so, if you even fall for it in the slightest, it's so stupid. <laughs> But what we find out is that he was saved by Rowena. Rowena had, you know, how many times Rowena's died, right? But she always had something to keep her alive. Apparently her and Ketch had done a deal. Convenient. And now he even implies that Rowena might not be dead. We'll see, though. I'm actually hoping she does come back because I actually did like her character in the end. But we find out that Texas demon dude, I, I can't remember his name right now, I'm in a rush, uh, is running hell. He's got Lucifer in the K in a cage, and he's got Cass again. Cass has been captured. Wow, that took two episodes for Cass to be in peril. And the whole catch story went exactly what we thought, or I don't know, because all of a sudden he goes from being shot at and running away from Dean with a, and Sam with a huge beard, and then all of a sudden, literally the next scene, he's in front of Oil Driller with clean shaven and all this shit and I'm like ah oh, fuck you catch god damn it I don't want this story bullshit back however now that we have a direction of the season I'm interested in that I actually thought there was a really good fight scene between Sam Dean and some demons and I did enjoy the whole aspect with Cass and <laughs> and Lucifer hanging out I thought that was actually kind of funny we're starting to see the season slowly start to build. We're seeing events, we're seeing outcomes of events that have come previous. The angels apparently are going extinct. However, we'll see how this works out because now we have two different things. We have the underground weird, uh, not, Le not Leviathan, but Leviathan things. And then we've got Michael from Alternate Universe who's going to come and destroy. So we've got two big things now. So it's kind of interesting. I like the idea of continuing the story of what would have happened to the world after uh, the events of season 5, mainly because we never actually saw the, the power of Michael. We saw him in moments through the earlier seasons, but we never saw him actually do anything physical. So the idea of a bad Michael coming and showing off his power, that would be interesting. Not darkness level, oh my god, but the next best thing, I guess you could say. Uh, and that would be nice to have an actual threat to the brothers besides a bunch of British wankers. So, I'm interested, we, at least to say. Anyways guys, I'm gonna give this episode a 4 out of 7. I'm interested to see where this goes. But anyways, I've gotta go now. So, hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.